Hey guys, my name is Daniel and you're watching Turn Lemons to Lemonade. Today we're turning this little beast, the EOSM, into a cinema camera. I have recently sold my A6400 and I wanted to see if I can make the most out of this little camera because this is what I had around. This was a camera that I bought for $150, which is not a lot uh, actually. One of the greatest things about it is that you can shoot Magic Lantern RAW. This is actually pretty amazing. First of all, we're going to fix the, the battery issue because the battery in this camera is very small. We have these little batteries, which is called LPE E12, which don't provide too much juice, around 45 to one hour recording time. And for that, we're going to use a DC coupler connected to a power bank to solve the battery issue. So we're actually shooting right now on the 1635L lens, which is a pretty great lens, which was borrowed by a friend and also the Carl Zeiss Jena Flectagon. 25 f4 which is actually a pretty amazing glass piece of glass if you see this is all metal and is very heavy you can see the quality just by looking at the materials and how well this this thing is made i have to shout out to my man zeke for putting this thing to its paces and showing us how capable this little beast is using magic lantern the best thing about it is that magic lantern community is very active about this camera and is actually pretty well developed Another lens I use and it's actually one of my favorite is the Canon 51.8 STM lens which is a very cheap lens, it's $100 but you can actually get a lot of good shots with it. This was molded to become a cinema lens using the shallow focus ring which you can see in the picture and also I'm using some uh, a step up ring to use my black promised Tiffany filter and the variable ND filter. We're going to put the EOSM on this, which is a, a newer shoulder rig, it's, it's pretty basic. One of the best thing I did is use a small rig adapter for the power bank in here and I'm actually connected this power bank to a DC coupler. I'm going to also use a cage on the camera and the left side wooden handle. And with this, with this is going to provide me better stability which is another issue you have with the EOSM being so small and tiny. One of the biggest struggle when filming yourself and doing content for yourself is just seeing the framing. So for that I'm using a Fieldwell Master MA5 monitor, which is actually pretty great. The only thing is that I don't know exactly if it's working perfectly with MCM Rewire RAW video, because I understand from, from Zig that you have to use 480p video, 480p feed which the monitor as I can see doesn't use actually so I might probably have some dropped frames I actually had some dropped frames but I just hide it with the cuts one of the things I don't like that much about it right now is that you have to actually convert the raw video using MLV app into ProRes which is a bit of a cumbersome but it takes some time to convert it it is what it is another thing that is not that great on this camera are the preamps of the camera Right now I'm recording directly using the lavalier mic in the camera, but I think I'm going to record the sound separately. So that's about it for this video guys. I wanted to introduce myself and tell you what this channel is going to be about, about filmmaking and camera gear. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and turn lemons into lemonade. Ciao!